Hello again everyone. This is the final video on the wings. We uh gonna close out the left wing in this video and uh put this put this to rest for now. So uh should probably start off by saying there's a lot of uh content that you're gonna miss unfortunately um in this video I'm going ahead and close it out the the left wing. I, I was trying to record uh, you know, completing up the uh, the nav and strobe position lights. Uh, unfortunately, uh, all that work was broken up into the last few weeks of just uh, five and ten minute intervals. So, wasn't able to capture any of that. And then there was some video that I lost uh, along the way, such as you know uh, the bottom of the wing close out here uh, when I was looking for that video, trying to. Uh, added into the sequence it uh, it was gone so not sure what happened there but yeah sorry so there's there's gonna be some some content that's missing here and you'll see I, I jumped from completing up the left wing um, here to moving on to working on the um, the flapper on which if you recall from previous videos you know I uh, I boogered up a skin and had to order a new one so we got that skin in and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and finish it up and then actually once the flapper on uh, you'll see in this video is completed uh, that's the last uh, part that needed to be completed for the wings I'll have some pictures here at the end of what the, the nav and strobe lights look like uh, once completed it's a fairly simple process uh, it's just you know you're working with epoxy and um, you know, fuel tank sealant uh, to close out the process and then a little bit of wiring so it, it's not a complicated process um, but like I said it was broken up into many days of just very short sessions so I wasn't able to record um, uh, you know any of that work being done unfortunately but yeah if you have any questions on it just reach out to me it's um, like I said fairly simple process and uh, you know it's not like you have to cut and shape uh, fiberglass uh, the biggest part is just making sure that those uh, those wingtip cutouts, those fiberglass cutouts, uh, you know, you do have to trim off to the uh, the scrib line that's on the fiberglass, and you want to make sure that um, before you just go ahead and start cutting, that um, the way it fits on the wing is the way you want it. Um, so, with that being said, that's uh, going to wrap up, you know, the wing section. We'll be getting the the finishing kit. The finishing kit will be shipping out on August second, uh, or will be crating on August second. I should say, uh, it'll it should ship out a week uh, or so after that. So maybe by mid August or early September, we'll have the finishing kit in, and we can proceed on with uh, continuing the video series and and trying to get this RV12 built. So it's it's getting exciting. I'm I uh, you know it, as you start to see all these pieces come together and realize you know this is pretty much it from a building standpoint. Uh, there's not a whole lot left to do from here from a building standpoint um, all of the build is pretty much finished it's um, it's really just going to be all the miscellaneous stuff uh, moving forward so you know the canopy top and uh, whatnot so I'm gonna go ahead and get the engine and avionics kit on order here in the next month so it's like I said very exciting and I can't wait so with that, I'll let this video play out and um, may not be a video for a while, but uh, we'll see y'all soon. Take care.